Hi and welcome to Her Many Faces. I'm Bethany. Thank you so much for joining us today. This video is just what I want to do, what I'm feeling in my heart, where I'm at personally. So if you don't like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's pretend for a second that whatever you put on your wish list, no matter how crazy, comes true. Today we're going to talk about my super bougie Christmas list. That's right, it's the Christmas list that I know won't happen because it's too expensive and outlandish. No, I'm not talking about like a house or a vacation or world peace. Instead, it's super selfish and just about me, which is more fun. So let me start in the beauty category. Basically for Christmas, any collection, vault, set, hit, or anything like that from most major brands, I would be like, yes, yes please. I want one of those. Any exclusive, luxury, amazing, ridiculous kit, that you can think of from any major brand that is for the holidays would to me just be like, <laughs> yes please. And I freaking, I freaking love kits. I love boxes. I love just having all the things. I really do. And I feel like a good Christmas present is something you wouldn't buy for yourself. We are just being in an unrealistic fantasy world of which there isn't ethics and morals and money. And next I'm going to go into the category of hair care. I would love to get one of those stupid Dyson things. I don't know why. I know people who own them and they're like, oh, it's so hard to use. And it's true. I can barely use a regular curling iron or like a hair dryer. I mean, look, look at my hair. Like I, I don't know how to do hair, but for whatever reason, Dyson has this like fake pseudo European sciency appeal to it and they're like listen guys not only did we do air purifying heaters and coolers not only did we do really low battery vacuum cleaners as well as plug-in vacuum cleaners but now we're into hair and I'm like yeah okay sign me up <laughs> let me try it so they have these cool sets that has all the pieces in it and that would be on this list one of those bad boys I know so let's move on to the other things on my list the next thing that would be on my list is a new chair for the studio right now I'm using one of these foldy chairs and like I mean it's good for the back support I really I think that's great I have back support I'm 30 something years old so back support is a must if you're sitting in this chair long enough doing makeup for six hours you do want that back support but it's not very pretty is it it's not so I'd rather this or maybe this I love storage so the thought of one of those little ottoman style chairs that have storage in it would be really cool that's where I'd put my Dyson hair set is in the storage little thing of that compartment I've already thought these things through next on my list would be a new camera don't get me wrong my Nikon D750 is okay it's pretty good in fact I'm super fortunate that I have this I'm super fortunate that it is working as well as it does but I would like to get like just a nicer camera maybe some type of gear so that I can do different kind of filming with it I probably would add on to that camera just like a filmmaking course I think that's that's what I'd want I'd want like a film Making slash editing course and a camera. Now I already have a camera. I already have YouTube or other different share skills or anything like that to access to learn these things. We're talking from like a bougie wish list, okay? So come on, quit judging here. This is a safe space. This is a safe space where I can share my thoughts and feelings. At least I thought it was. So camera would be on my list and this probably would be a nice camera or maybe this one would be a nice camera just to try something different different lens. To be honest, I'm not even sure I'm using it at its best settings. I think on this list of just crazy ridiculous things, what I most definitely would throw in there is like some form of clothing or apparel, like so that I can go shopping Boxing Day. That would be so fun. My grandmother used to do that for us. I am so spoiled. We would go to Edmonton for Christmas. We would spend Christmas in the hotel at West Edmonton Mall and then on Boxing Day she would give us a little bit of money and we would go shopping. So if you're wondering why I have a shopping addiction, yeah, you can blame my family. I was raised like this. It's not my fault. I take no responsibility and I'm not changing. Hear that, Kevin? I am not changing. So that's 
my list of all the bougie Christmas things that I wish I could get this Christmas, but I'm definitely not. And if I may, so that you don't think I'm too superficial or surface level, go to a very real list. I think this Christmas I just wish that everyone would feel connected and not alone, loved, safe, and healthy. And that's my true wish for this Christmas because stuff doesn't matter and I don't think on my deathbed I'm gonna be lying there wishing I had more things. I will be wishing for more time with my family, more time with my friends, deeper connections to know them more. Truly the best gift you could ever give anyone is sharing. Sharing yourself and listening to what they have to say. I hope this holiday is filled with both sides because gifts are fun too and that you remember that you're loved, you're wonderful, and I'm here making videos, so if there's nothing to do, don't forget to click the next video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye!